Pipe down. Morning guys, how are we doing? So, um, and now, just down here, it's about half past five. I'm just gonna flick this around so you can see what I can see. Two seconds before we go in today's live feed, which is about taking control. Let me just around here. So just waiting for the sun to come up here. And look how beautiful this is. Beautiful, okay. When that sun comes up as well, I'll probably flip the camera around. So I want to talk this morning about taking control and I did a live feed not kind of remember how long ago it was probably a week ago talking about coping versus controlling and I wanted to dive into the taking control bit a little bit more and I've gone live a little bit earlier this morning just because I'm going home for breakfast with the family uh, when I finish my class at six with the guys and I just wanted to head straight off as soon as I finish that class so um, taking control now I feel that this is an, uh, a real sort of precarious sort of uh, discussion because a lot of people won't understand necessarily what it means to take control. Now within our life, within our daily routine, within all of the decisions that we make, we show an element of control or desperation. Now for people, for example, who are looking to get fit, shed a ton of weight, lose a belly. What tends to happen is that we're always hunting for the quickest and cheapest option. And that kinda, kinda comes from desperation, from suddenly realizing they're not in a great position. And you start kinda look at yourself in the mirror one morning and think to yourself, well, I'm going on holiday in six weeks, so I need something to try and lose a bit of weight so I look okay around the pool. Or you kinda suddenly come to the realization that you aren't in a great place, that you don't look brilliant, so you look for those options. And what's interesting to me is in the time that I've been doing this, the, the TDC, the dad's coach, is that I've had a, a variation of um, variation of comments when it comes to working with me on a six week program. Well, I, I'm not paying that, I'm not paying that. And then some people go in, we need to raise your prices. And when it comes down to taking control of your, morning Andrew. And when it comes down to taking control of your life and emotions, how much are you willing to invest in yourself? So it's taking control and realizing that you need professional help and you need help to guide you, keep you accountable, drive you forward, make you help you reach your peak, okay? And it's almost going, okay, well, I, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm not ready to invest in myself. But people inquire, but then, don't go any further. And then they go on with their lives, doing the same thing, complaining, eating junk, not being the best version of themselves. Morning, Andrew. And it's a case of wondering how much longer they can keep going on like that for. And what makes me wonder is that they took control and took that path to come and do one of my programs or somebody else's program at that. Don't want this to be one of those pitch type things. But unless they, take that action how much longer is it going to be before they decide to do something and taking control of the situation and going pulling their socks up and going I'm going to invest in myself I'm going to take control enough I'm going to do something about the way that I look about the way that I feel then you're never going to do anything because what will happen is you'll drift right past that opportunity and not did be and I always talk, I'm gonna throw that dog in the sea. I always talk about taking control. And I always say whenever something opens up for me about it being a new opportunity. And I don't lie. It is a new opportunity that has arisen for you. Stupid dog. Okay, it's a new opportunity that has arisen for you to do something about the position that you are in. In my free group, there are 650 guys in there. And I reckon out of those 650 guys, 600 of them are struggling. Because whenever I put up a poll, probably about 50, 60 of them sort of um, vote in there about not being happy, about not reaching their peak, about not being fit, about being overweight. Guess how many of those 600 people do something about it? Zero. Nothing. Because they're sitting, waiting for a magic wand to turn up Okay, they're waiting for some miracle to come down that's gonna make them thin again. That's gonna make them fit again. It's 
that's going to make their mentality stronger again. That shit doesn't happen. It doesn't just float down. You have to take control of the situation, get off your ass, and do something about it. You have to. If you need help and need structure and need accountability, go and find somebody to do that. And that's what I do for guys that are 35 plus. I fucking make sure I give you that kick up the ass, give you that focus, give you that structure. And it's about taking control. And you can have this in other areas of life as well. So talking about, let's talk about work-life balance. The stuff that I work with on my personal coaching programs with my clients, my 12 and my three and five month programs, is controlling the work environment. Now we have to work. I'm not gonna do this turning around and go, just don't work, just fucking don't work, don't turn up, because you have to turn up. You have to earn the living, you have to pay the bills, you have to get your mortgage. There's nothing you can do about that. But you can control the mood that you go into that work can control your optimism, your positive thoughts throughout work so that you can cope better with work. Your coping mechanisms become stronger, you're more in control of your work. So instead of doing to-do lists that are 10, 20 items long that just completely overwhelm you, go into work, whether you are a cleaner, whether you are a managing director of a million pound company, Go into work with three goals, three aims that you're going into. And they're the three things that you want to achieve on your day. And when you do that, you have control. Because when you start putting stuff down that is out of your control, you then go into coping mechanism. And then that creates stress and frustration. And guess what? That knocks onto your personal space so that when you're not working, and that when you are focusing on yourself, you're not emotionally eating, you're not emotionally drinking, you're not snapping at the kids, you're not snapping at the wife. You're in control. You finish work, you transition into personal, into dad, into husband, into beast mode in the gym, whatever it is. So there are elements of taking control when you're at work. Taking control of your personal life. If you are not in a great relationship, then fucking either sort it out or don't be in there. Don't be in the middle because you'll waste another five, ten years deciding if you are. If you're not into the personal development space, download a podcast today and listen to it. it Fitness is a state of mind. My podcast, 40 podcasts or so on there, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of development opportunity in there. Find yourself some books. Start reading, start learning, start watching TED videos. TED videos are motivational videos by some of the best motivators in the world. And what happens when you start taking control, all these things that we've talked about, is you build up a positive mindset. Once you build up a positive mindset, positive things start to happen. The weight starts to come off. You suddenly, the black cloud lifts. Suddenly you can walk up to the top of the stairs and not be out of breath. Suddenly you start doing triathlons and 5Ks and 10Ks. Suddenly you start enjoying your life and getting promotions. And this shit doesn't happen overnight. This happens over a long period of time. Because you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs. You're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs. And effective in my head, all men are leaders. We're not born leaders, we're created leaders. Something we got from the Marines. You know, I was never born a corporal. I was never born to like train to take a group of eight men into battle into a firefight i wasn't born with that i was trained how to do that i was t- trained to take control within that situation so that if we came under fire that me and the guys that i was underneath me could sustain a firefight stay alive and kill the enemy and that's what i was trained to do that's you know as a corporal in the royal marines that was my job to take control. So a lot of my life now, now that a lot of the unsettled part of me has gained control since leaving the Marines, since I lost complete control when I left the Marines because I lost all that structure, that identity, I lost a lot of that. And now I have it back. And now I have my leadership hat on. And my leadership hat means looking after my family, means looking after me first, me first, then the family, then the businesses. 
because when you're in control, which I feel that I am 90% there, you live a much more, uh, you live a much better life with lots more clarity. You're not drowning in the waves. You know, imagine being in there, wave after wave, pounding down on you, just coping. Or whether you're just treading water, breathing, thinking about controlling each wave that comes in and overcoming each wave so that you're not drowning. Hey, look at this, sunrise. Just see the tip of it here. Boom. And this is what it's about. I got myself up 20 minutes earlier than when I normally did this morning to make sure I came to see that. Because every time I see that sunrise, I feel inspired. I feel motivated for the day. I've got jujitsu today and, and, and a few other bits and pieces. And I just want to be in control of my, diet, my day, my life. And I want you to be. Because when you take control, you reach the very best version of yourself. Because each and every one of you that are, is watching this video is capable of more of what, than what you are doing. Everybody is running at 70-80%. When you run at 110%, when you're in the red zone, shit starts happening for you. Your life starts getting better. You start reaching higher levels. And unless you start like diving into that, chinking away at the armour, to work 110% when you're in the gym, to work 110% at being a dad, to work 110% when you're at work, then you will never reach 110%. And it's about being the best version of yourself. It's about when you're older, looking back and going, I fucking gave it everything. Absolutely everything. And I'm gonna finish there. So remember, take control. Be 110%. If you're not 110%, then it is not even worth you waking up for the day. So attack everything from right now. If you're watching this, you go into everything with that, with that mindset, an unbreakable mindset. You're not gonna cope, you're not gonna drown in the sea, you're gonna be in control of every decision that you make, every path that you take, and that's what matters. All right, I'm just gonna finish up by flipping this round. You can see that, look at that. Guys, have a great day. Okay, have a great day. I hope you feel inspired and motivated for the day to be the best version of yourself. I'll catch you real soon.